Hey, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy Crips here. We're back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you want to prepare for Zhao and what you need and what materials you'll be needing to ascend and get ready for Zhao to maximize his full potential. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the necessary materials you're going to need for Zhao. We're going to have a checklist talking about what you're going to need for Zhao and how to get them as easy and fast as possible so that you're ready to get Zhao to the maximum level as fast as possible. So that's what we're going to be doing today's video and let's get right to it. So if you teleport yourself to Liyue Harbor, you're going to just teleport on this teleport right here. And then you're just going to walk all the way up here. You're just going to walk here past the pond and up the stairs. You're going to be going into a shop. It's Chi Chi's shop if you actually don't recognize it of playing the story. It is Chi Chi's shop and she sells the herbs that you're going to need to ascend Zhao. So if we talk to the herbalist, we go up here. And you tell you want to buy some herbs and you're going to need these flowers, these Jingxing flowers. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm very bad pronunciation in this game, but you're going to need these flowers. I'm pretty sure every shop refreshes every three days. So three days and you know, Zhao is coming in about a week or so. So start doing this now. You can get about 30 before he comes out. And then obviously you're going to have to farm them in the outside world, but you get 10 here in the shop. Very useful. And it also has other flowers like the horsetail, violet grass, lotus head. So very useful, uh, especially horsetails. We actually don't know what these are going to do, but maybe later on in the future, there's going to be future characters that will need horsetails. So very useful to find if you have the Mora to farm them now. So if you teleport yourself to Mount Aozang, if that's how you pronounce it, they're usually around these top cliffs here. There are different spots. There are a few that spawns in Wu Wang Hill. I know there's a few that spawns around this area, if I'm not mistaken. And then there's some that are in, over here as well. And I think there are a few like around down here. I'm not really, I don't really remember, but I do have a path that I farm these Jingxing flowers. I don't really know the flower, the path on the top of my head because I do watch a video to help me out, but they will usually be on these top cliffs in Mount Aozang, if that's how you pronounce it, if you use a teleporter. They will be on these top cliffs usually. I know there's some near the noblesse domain. There's a few there, but I already farmed them, so they won't be here. But yeah, you just, just go around these top cliffs. You'll usually find them. There are a few stacked. There's some on that cliff there. Those two cliffs there, those little cliffs here, should be some over there as well. One, I think there's one over there. So just look around this area and you'll find some, or you can just find a video. I'll link the video in the description section below to help you guys out uh, find a path for your Jingxing flowers. But you're going to need 168 of them to get Zhao to level 90. So a very decent amount. So start farming them now so that you don't have to farm them later. And also you got to remember, they do refresh every two days or so. So, you know, farming them now is better than farming them later because obviously they have to respawn for them for you to farm. Or if you didn't know, if you did farm the flowers, you know, on your world, you can go to other people's world or your friend's world. And if they don't mind, you can take flowers from their world. But make sure you guys ask your friends if that's OK. Now you're going to still need the Enamo Hypostatus gemstones, you know, the chunks and all that. You're going to still need these to ascend Zhao. Unfortunately, we will be having to use the new world boss, the Primal Geo Vishop bosses. If that's how you pronounce them. You're going to need to farm those because you're going to need 46 of the juvenile Jade. And then you're gonna need about one of the one of the green one, two stars ones. You're gonna need about nine of these, and then nine of the four stars, and obviously you're gonna need six of the five stars. So for me, I'm probably gonna farm them straight up so that I can have Zhao ready. And then whatever the world new world boss drops, because they will drop gems and chunks, they will drop that. And I know there's gonna be conversion as well, but like I said, whatever they drop is just a bonus for my inventory for other characters. So, because I really don't have anything else to farm, I might as well just do these right now so that I can get it out the way. And then after that, I'll probably just farm like artifacts, talent books, and all that sort. Now, speaking about talents, you're going to need the... Oh, not this one. You're going to need the talent of prosperity. So, you're going to need to stack up a few of these. I do have a good amount, I would say. I have about 11 of the gold books, 36 of the silver books, and 39 of the two-star books. So you're going to need nine of the two star books to get all your talents, all three of the talents to level two. Then you're going to need about 63 of the three star books. And then you're going to need 114 of the four star books if you want all your talents to be level 10. And if Zhao is really good, if you really want and you really don't care about your crowns, you can use your crowns. I haven't used a single crown 
Not because I think they're rare, because I legit don't have the Mora to spend on talent and I cannot use my crown. <laughs> That's really the case for me. And obviously I gotta get lucky with the uh, other drops where we will talk about later. But make sure you farm your talents of prosperities. They come out on Monday and Thursdays. And then of course Sundays, uh, Sundays are a very good day to farm because obviously now you can choose what domain you wanna farm and being able to farm on sunday is very useful if you're busy on any other days and like i said if you want to level up your zhao to like a higher talent so 6 to 10 you're gonna need the shadow of the warrior these draw from the child boss battle so obviously very luck based unfortunately i only have five at the moment and also i'm gonna be using two of those for ganyu so i'm not gonna have too many hopefully by the time zhao comes out i will have about you know seven or eight if I get lucky with the child drops. To ascend Zhao and ascend his talents also, you're gonna need slime. So you're gonna need some slime drops. If you go to your Avenger handbook, you filter to easy on the enemies page. And then you just scroll down and you just go to slime. And then you just press navigate. And the game will show you where some slime spawn. Obviously it won't show you all the slime spawns, but it'll show you a few. And then obviously they have to respawn. And then you're gonna have to find some slimes by yourself. I know from off the top of my head, there are a few slimes that spawn around the Pyro Reggie Vine. There are a few that spawns in Gu Yun Stone Force, if I can pronounce it correctly. And there's also a few other spawns, if I can try to find a few for you. I know there's some that spawns up here. And then also, other than that, I don't really remember on the top of my head where else they spawn. But if you just kind of venture around the map, you'll probably find a few slimes. Also the Dendro slimes too, you can farm those. Those, those pop up around the world a lot, so definitely find those slimes as well. So get as many slimes as you're gonna need, because you're gonna need a little few, I would say. You're gonna need a few. At the moment, I do have a good amount. I have 24 of the 3 stars, 170 of the 2 stars, and then 127 of the 1 stars. So you're gonna need 36 of these, you're gonna need 30 of these, and then you're gonna need 18 of the 1 stars to get Zhao's Ascension to level 90. And then obviously you're gonna need a lot more for talents like when i mean a lot i mean a lot not including zhao's ascension you're gonna need 93 of the three stars not 66 of the two stars and 18 of the one star to level up all zhao's talents to level 10 which like i said most of us probably won't have the materials and resources to do that but you're gonna need a few to ascend ta his talents so definitely save up some slime and start stocking them up right now so I did make a video about Zhao artifact spell, so I won't get into this part too much, but you want to level up your artifacts right now and trying to get it ready at the moment so that you don't have to worry about them later because you will be using resin for the juvenile J's for the new world boss. So obviously you're going to be running low on resin. So getting your artifacts ready now so that you don't have to worry about it later. It's definitely very useful. So make sure you level up all your artifacts. If you haven't seen the video already, I will link the video down below in the description section. You can see my stats, Sans, I use attack, a Nemo damage bonus for the goblet, crit damage, and then obviously crit rate, crit damage on basically all my substats, so definitely aim for that for your artifacts. Now I won't be talking about what you're going to need for your weapons because everyone's going to be using different weapons and every weapon uses different materials to ascend, but obviously I will be making a separate video on weapons, you know, talking about what weapons you can use, but I will talk about it in this video as well. Obviously the Primordial Jade is the best well, five star weapon and the best weapon hands down for Zhao. You can also use the Crescent Pike or the Black Cliff Pole or even the Dragon Spine Spear. Apparently it might be somewhat decent for Zhao. There are different options you can run with Zhao and which one works best for you, it depends on you. So that's why I won't be covering too much about this because obviously each weapon uses different materials to ascend. But start thinking what weapons you want to use for Zhao and which one to get ready so you can ascend them now and level them up now. Because obviously one of the materials for the weapons, they are different day stuff. So obviously, you know, for I don't really know for Crescent Pike. I don't know if it tells me, but like for example, the materials you're going to need to ascend the Crescent Pike are on Monday and Thursdays. So obviously grinding them now is definitely very useful than leaving it to last minute when Zhao is released. So hopefully this video helped you guys out prepare for Zhao. I think I covered just about everything. So preparing for Zhao, Zhao is going to be really good. Apparently he might even get buffed from the beta. That's just a rumor. I'm not very sure if that's true or not, but definitely getting Zhao ready is very important so that you don't have to, you know, scramble in a messy way when Zhao comes out and you know, you're all over the place, right? So getting him ready right now is very important for you if you're going to summon for Zhao. 
so that you can get him to your his maximum potential right away and as soon as possible. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Appreciate the support so far. Please hit that sub button. Really would appreciate it. Hit that like button as well. Comment down below if you have any questions about the build or any preparations. That's gonna be it for me. Hit that bell notification. Notifies you when I put up a video. That's gonna be it for me. Peace.